DCP Player Free. Get it now from digital.net.au. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Sydney Tech Geek. And at CinemaCon this year, 2014, there's a big move for laser projection. It's basically every vendor has a laser product they're bringing to market this year. And the, the other two, being Barco and Christie, are really focusing at the big screen. Well, NEC has taken a different direction and they've got this little laser system here. Um, and now, it's very unique. It, it's, it's only a uh, 11 meter screen rated. It's rated to 11 meter screen. It actually uses a different type of laser technology. It actually ha has one blue laser in here, um, which is pointing at a, a spinning phosphorus um, uh, surface, which then generates the white, white light, and then it's going into the light into the, the prisms of the light engine here. So. It's small, it doesn't have the big uh, laser things like you do on the bigger ones. It's the same size as the NC900, but uh, it's got the bigger brightness. You'll see over here, this is uh, a box that's, or a filter that needs to be on there due to the laser regulations. It's a, it's a bit weird because no real laser light is coming out, but due to the regulations, this is currently required. Um, the heat output in the demonstration I went to, it's barely any heat at all. It's got basically the same power consumption as an NC900, but no, barely any heat coming out. And the time, the rated hours on the laser and the wheel are very long. Now, it's, it's, so many numbers were thrown at me. Uh, I, I suggest you do hit the NEC website and have a look at the specs of this projector. But this is a very interesting development. You know, laser for the big screen, but we've got laser for the smaller screen with very long hours on um, the, the lamp and the spinning wheel. So it's a great new development and I think NEC have, have made a good decision going this, this on this sort of the low road rather than the high road as the big guys have gone because they've got it all to themselves and it's a very nice little unit. So look out for that. Talk to your um, representatives uh, from NEC. It's due to be released around at the end of April or just uh, soon after. It's going to be under 50000 rated at the moment but the prices are still in flux but still that's a very interesting price. It's rated to around five to seven years per lamp um, for what I remember from the talk but again talk to your NEC representative and go have a look for yourself. Uh, I was also very impressed with the uniformity across the screen. It was better than I've seen than, than the NC900. So other aspects of using it for a post or other workflows is also there. Anyway, that's James Gardner at the NEC stand at CinemaCon 2014. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.